The value injector, a useful node for storing and injecting values. The value injector can store a value here, which can be manually set by the player or determined by the value port here, and when the inject port is activated, it outputs the value on the output port. Say you had a switch, and you wanted the switch to control the color of an LED and flip between red and green. You could just put red and green in the on and off on the switch and send them to color. Simple as that. But now what if you wanted another LED to go between purple and orange? How would you do that? You already use these two ports, so that's where the value injector comes in. You could hook it up just like this. You'd need two in this case, actually. Go on to inject, and off to inject, and then you have two more spots where you can choose any value. So now, let's do some colors. Just like the other side, hook them up. Oh, missed that one. And there you go. Here's an example of where I use value injectors in one of my devices. In my player body, each joint is controlled individually, but I need the joints to turn off and go to a certain position when you jump. So I have the math determining the position going through a gate, but when I turn that gate off, I need them to go to a certain position, so the value injector is perfect. So I turn the gate off, and I inject a certain value. And I have one of those for all of them. So now you can walk around, and then when you jump, they go to a certain position.